Well, Mike Everett here is here now to, to talk a little bit more about the weather. So, Mike, I saw a lot of people out on the waterfront. It is drizzling, unfortunately, on this holiday weekend. Yeah, the timing not particularly great here, Christine. What we've got going on is a system that's going to be passing through overnight tonight. If there is some good news embedded in that, is that most of the bulk of the rain will pass through overnight tonight into Sunday, leaving us just kind of showery on Saturday or Sunday and on Monday. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. I think we're getting a pretty good indication of what's going on right now. Again. The Mariners playing the Astros under that closed roof right now. Temperatures in the low 50s right now. Take a look at it from another direction here. Yeah, I think this embodies it as well. We've got some raindrops on the lens there and more on the way. So we took a look at radar earlier. And again, as we zoom that out, Again, the one thing that we can be grateful for is the bulk of the energy. You can see the center of circulation basically parallel with Oregon. So we're seeing some of those showers pushing up. In fact, Portland now starting to quiet down. And as we continue to see these showers migrate from the south to the north, we do have some instabilities that I pointed out earlier off towards Pendleton. It'll make its way across the southeastern corner of the state here. But once we start to cool a little bit and the sun starts to set, all that instability that's firing off all those storms will finally calm down. So take a look at the big picture in the GO-17 satellite. I actually had to put an indicator as to where the Puget Sound is because it's a bit of a mess out there. But once the center of circulation passes through here, we'll be in a post frontal mode. And again, that just makes us more showery and a little less rainy. In the short term, though, we're going to be tracking rain overnight tonight. Cloud deck will keep us fairly mild out there with overnight lows in the 50s. To kind of put it in more of a graphical form, it looks like temperatures will be slightly cooler on Sunday after the front passes, but then by the time we make our way to Memorial Day, we're just tracking some warming temperatures and some improving conditions. Take a look at Sun Mountain Lodge along the eastern edge of the Cascades, seeing lots of green there, but as Christine mentioned earlier, there is some snow flying in the upper elevations. Future radar shows that rain continuing to push in and becoming more uniform as we go through the night tonight. So this is the middle of the night. This is right around 2 a.m. We'll see rain literally from top to bottom, kind of bunching up along the foothills of the Cascades, finally cleaning itself out tomorrow morning. This is right around 930. So we'll continue to see bands of heavy rain that'll make its way basically to the Homish, Whatcom and Skagit counties. We'll continue to see some snow falling in the upper elevations there as well, building on some snowpack. Sunday, again, we're going to be showery. We could see a little bit of convergence that could set up that could keep some showers basically over the central portion the sound and again middle of the night Sunday into Monday we finally start to get everything out of here but we will see one last burst of energy that will come in from the east this is Monday right around 11 a.m. and you're seeing some of those heavier showers along the eastern edge of the Cascades there and those snow levels again dropping down to about 5,000 feet not expecting much in the way of impacts as far as driving goes but again continuing to build on snowpack late in the season seven day forecast shows a cool weekend ahead but the warming starts on Tuesday and we could be tracking the warmest day of the year year so far on Wednesday.